I gotta save that for the interview. Are you ready to go? <laughs> All right, I'm standing next here to star car couple, uh, Pam and Adam Janai, who actually are stars of the upcoming new show, Mob Still, yep. that's coming out. Yep. So first things first, how did the, what was the conception of the show like and how did this come about? Uh, the show's just about, you know, basically us taking taking old cars and bringing them back to life and, you know, just making them badass again and putting them on the street and just showing how we play for a living and have fun. And, and in the whole time, like, just uh, paying homage to, you know, the people that built them originally and, you know, uh, how, you know, we put our touch on them and how we play with uh, people in the city and uh, um, how everybody contributes, you know, some of its parts. You know, how, how do these things come about and, and how are they made and, um, you know, just kind of a peek into Mob Steel. It premieres uh, Sunday night uh, on uh, NBCSN at 6 o'clock, right after the NASCAR race. And then you can pick it up Wednesdays at 10. Okay. So, uh, you know, we're getting nervous. Yep. This is not our business. Yeah, this is... We, we weld and bend metal. But uh, this has been very exciting, and NBC's been awesome. And I'm, I'm really excited to share um, what we do with everybody because we really are fortunate, uh, you know, to go in and punch that clock. And I don't care, you know, the days are long days and, and they're long weeks, but... We can leave at 3, 4 in the morning with a smile on our face, so it's really cool. Well, they say when you enjoy what you do, you're not really working. So. You aren't. You aren't. That's that's 100% true. Good deal. Now, Pam, you know, there, there, there's a stigma that women do not know as much about cars than men do. So, you know, how is you being on this show being able to break that stigma and let them know that, look, we know what's under the hood as well? Well, you know, it's something that I, I will give that most women maybe don't, but when you're thrown into this environment and you're the only woman amongst all these boys and, and their these projects and toys, you know, you, you learn pretty quick. Yes. And you get a thick skin so you can stay, you know, so you can survive this whole thing. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, it's, it's, I don't think that's necessarily, necessarily true. I talk cars with guys all day long. <laughs> I can hold my own. I've learned. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity. She's sharp. Yeah. Now, I was, I was going to say, you know, how has working on this show been, you know, as a married couple? Do you feel that it's actually strengthened your marriage? Almost definitely. You know, if, because of how many long hours it takes to, to do what we do, mm -hmm. if we if we weren't together on this, I mean, we'd have no marriage at all. So I mean, <laughs> honestly, right? we have always been the kind of couple who work best together on projects. So we get into this, we have our our, our distinct roles that we play in, in the build process, and it, it works out very well. I mean, we we enjoy being together, we enjoy having our company and the family that we build at Mob Steel. So it's 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 an awesome it's an awesome thing to be a part of. Amen. The couple that bends metal together stays together, Absolutely. right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, you know, one thing I was going to say too is, you know, this is based in Detroit. Yeah. yeah. Motor City. Obviously, yep. there's a lot of historic uh, oh, sure. things Absolutely. that went down there with Absolutely. vehicles particularly. Um, the kinds of cars that you guys take apart, is there a specific kind or just pretty much whatever comes across? No, we cross a pretty good demographic. I mean, uh, we do everything from, you know, 50s Packards on the show. You'll see on, on uh, Sunday night when the premiere, we do a 53 Packard. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome vehicle. The Packard plant in Detroit was, is, is, is massive, and it was uh, just a superpower back in the day. And all these vehicles um, that came out of Detroit that we put our touch on, um, you know, it's just, you know, we try to celebrate the, the fact that, you know, they came out of Detroit. And there's a lot of talented, innovative people yeah. and the businesses, and it's just an awesome place, man. And if you're into cars, there's no other place to be. Now, it's a great car culture all over this country, but Detroit's the epicenter, and everybody knows that. If they don't, they're going to know it after Sunday night. I am about to say, they'll definitely know it after then. All right, well, thank you guys thank so much. much. Make sure to check it out Sunday night. Thank you. Thank all right, thank you, you so much. Thank you.